I got my viewers to suffer through 72 games of 100 player class wars. And turns out, Spy is awful. Medic is somehow better than 3 actual combat classes. And the best class is somehow not Soldier, not Demo, and not even Engineer. Here's how it went. Starting at the bottom, Spy. He has no wins, and all there is to analyze is the intensity and rate at which he lost. Group 1. Classes he had zero chance against. This is Soldier, Pyro, Demo, and Heavy. There is actually nothing to say about this. He is entirely outclassed in DPS, range, and health. It is genuinely very challenging to be alive for more than a second, let alone possibly cap the point. He gets spawn camped so badly that we started to watch meet the team videos and puke into the mic for any kind of stimulation. Group 2. Classes that still demolish him, but at least he gets to walk around. This is Scout, Engineer, and Medic. For Scout, he technically wasn't spawn camped, but he basically was. Every path out was blocked. A good proportion of scouts also ran milk, so they got their health back if they ever somehow took damage, which made it even more unwinnable for Spy. The Spies never capped once. You might think the Spy has a chance against the Engineer, but he actually lost it 3-0 both rounds. The problem is that he dies either to the Engineer or the Sentry. If you focus on sapping, the engineer kills you. If you focus the engineer, the sentry kills you. There is no way to handle both at once. In practice, players try to focus on sapping, but even in last minute pub pushes, the spy just dies too quickly and the sapper isn't powerful enough. Against Medic, he gets rolled 3-0, still. The medics can outheal his damage output, and the syringe gun is also good enough. The one matchup where Spy could even cap was Sniper, but even then, he lost with at least a minute left to go, both times. Spy's problem still seems to be damage output. Snipers ran the Huntsman, SMG, Jurati, and Bushwhacker, which the Spy's Revolvers and Dead Ringer just couldn't keep up with. But uh, that's also it for Sniper. They don't have a win besides Spy, though they are marginally better. Instead of being hopeless on all but one matchup, Sniper managed one more matchup that didn't end in a stomp. Against Heavy, the snipers were actually able to control the main stairs and the escalator, getting their time down to a respectable minute. But for whatever reason, they couldn't deal with underground pushes, and heavies won the best of three, abusing that and fists of steel. Snipers were able to cap against the engineer as well, but it doesn't really count. Every class except Spy could cap at least once against Engineer. His strat revolves around building up at the start, then inching forward to secure the win. When the Engineers started advancing, the Snipers could not deal with all the sentries. The third worst is the Scout. He basically has no wins, since the only two he has are the three wins on Sniper and Spy. The losses against Heavy, Soldier, Pyro, and Engineer were simple. He just has less health and damage output. His best performance was against Demo, but even then, he never scored more than a minute. They went Stock Demo and Demo Knight. Stock Demos constantly spammed the point, making it impossible for scouts to approach and survive enough to cap. Demo Knights then defended the Stock Demos, so there was basically nothing scouts could do. Over two rounds, they managed to cap a total of three times, 
all of which were Wan Shu constantly bashing against it to very very slowly cap the point. Alongside Sniper and Spy, Scout somehow lost to Medic, who is the fourth worst. Some Medics fought with the syringe gun, but Medic basically won in peaceful protest. They simply healed faster than Scouts could damage, so they sat on the point for 3 minutes and won. Round Start demonstrates this well. The kill feed is just empty until Blue Meds get bored and start killing. Sniper and Spy went the same way. And against the other classes, Medic can't outheal or outdamage them. So far, everything makes sense, but in fifth place is Demo, which sounds really wrong, but it actually makes sense. Against Engineer, he can't play the video game. Pyros press W and win. Against heavies, while Demo can match in damage, he gets outclassed in range and health. With how many heavies there are, it's actually a viable strat for them to just tickle you to death from across the map. Then any damage taken from spam gets cancelled out by eating. Demo does beat Soldier though. The two classes are pretty equal in power but the difference maker seems to be stickies. After Demo wins the first fight, they just sticky out every entryway and Soldier can't get a foothold. Demo is the 5th worst, but 3rd best. Soldier, Engineer and Pyro are in a 3-way tie for 2nd place. Pyro beats Soldier, Soldier beats Engineer, and Engineer beats Pyro. Against Soldier, you might assume Pyro's win comes down to the air blast, but in practice, Soldier's problem was simply being overwhelmed and mobbed with too many Pyros to deal with. When 4 to 5 Pyros run at you, you just die. The air blast does help with spam though, and it made holding onto the point easier. Seeing Demo lose to Engineer, it seems fair to assume the Soldier would also lose, but he actually wins. The difference here seems to be range. This crossroad is what naturally emerged as the engineer setup spot to build up, then push up the stairs or through the underground to eventually win. But Soldier's range is oppressive on every entryway. Stand on roof to spam bus. Stand on roof to spam other side of bus. Push this flank to spam bus. And same with the underground's sightline. With pressure from all these angles, the short circuit couldn't deal with it, and the engineers couldn't get set up to execute on their strategy, losing 3-0 twice. Against Pyros, they tried to rush in immediately and stop them, but engineers can build way too quickly, so it didn't pan out. The sentries obviously outranged Pyros, so engineers slowly inched forward and won. Pyro and Engineer beat Demo, but Soldier got his 6th win from Heavy. They 3 0 him twice by abusing their range to lock down every entry. At round start, Heavies get demolished by Spam. Then with the early foothold, they lock down all the doors. Heavies get spammed to death trying to get in and they never establish any ground. But that's Heavy's only loss. Heavy is the best class in 100 player class wars. Pyros try to abuse the way Heavies would bunch up together and ran Scorch Shot with the Flog. It wasn't a bad strat, but it also wasn't enough to keep up. 
Heavies were simply better at range, and they couldn't control the flanks. Engineers went for their usual strats, but even with the Wrangler, the sentries were simply not enough. There's too many sightlines and angles for heavies to abuse, so engineers never managed to even get control of their general spawn area, let alone get set up to cap the point back. The heavies won 3-0 twice, and even locked the engineers in their spawn towards the end of round 2. We tried a bonus round where engineers had a free pass to set up, and that still wasn't enough. The heavies just walked in and killed everything. My viewers were right and predicted Spy as worst class, but only 14% of people predicted the heavy as best class, behind Soldier and Engineer. So, Heavy good, spy bad. And my favorite classes. My favorite classes. Is, 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 is,